pressure in liquids. Let's take this plastic bottle and poke two holes, one at the bottom and one in the middle. We will temporarily close these holes with tape. Now fill the bottle with water. What will happen if I remove the tape quickly? Will water come out at the same speed from both the holes? Water is coming out of the bottom hole at a higher speed. Why? More liquid is present above the bottom hole than the middle hole. And it exerts more pressure near the bottom. It is because of pressure which is higher at the bottom as compared to the top. Let us take three containers of different shape and size. We will punch hole at the same height for all containers. They have different amounts of water above the hole. From which container water will come out at higher speed? None. Water comes out at equal speed from all the containers. We can say that pressure depends on the height of the water column and not on the shape of the container. Measuring pressure. Let me take this plastic tube. It's about 2 meters long. I will attach it to this bottle. Bottle is acting as a strand of tube. Tube is attached to the bottle with the help of rubber bands. I will use syringe to fill the tube with some colored water. Colored water helps us to see the level. As both ends are open, air is exerting equal pressure on both sides of the water as well. Level of water is same. Let me close longer end of the tube. Watch what I am doing. Is there any effect on the level of water? When I press the tube, water level on one side goes down and the other side goes up. By pressing it, I am pushing the air inside which in turn pushes the water. More I press, the higher the water rises. This arrangement is used for measuring pressure. It is called open tube manometer. One end of the U-shaped tube containing liquid is open to atmosphere, P0, while the other end is connected to system of unknown pressure, P. Let's call P0 atmospheric pressure, while P is the unknown pressure. The difference between these two is called gauge pressure. This bottle is filled with water. What will happen if I dip the open end of this tube in the bottle? Watch the water level in the tube. As I lower the tube, water level goes up. We can say that pressure is more near the bottom. It is less at the top. What if I take container of different shape? Will it behave differently? Let's try it out. These three containers are different in shape and volume. Only thing which is same is the level of water. Now let us lower the tube to be bottom of each container. Will the level of water in the tube be same for all? When we dip our tube, to the bottom of all containers, blue water level increased to a constant level. We can say that the pressure at the bottom is dependent only on the height of the water and not on the shape of the container. Does pressure vary in different direction at the same level in container? If I take this tube and move it sideways or in other direction at the bottom, Blue water level does not change. It means pressure is same in all directions at the same location inside liquid. Summary We discussed the concept of pressure. We looked at its behavior in fluid at different levels. We also measured it with the help of manometer. Try these activities yourself to understand pressure in a better way. Challenge Why aircraft cabins are pressurized? 